Hello YouTubers. Today I will show you how to control the belt conveyor and get a feedback of its states. Let's have a look at the setup. Here we have a three phase line. F1 is a fuse box. Q1 is a protection circuit. K1 is a magnetic contactor. SV1 is a safety switch. M1 is a three phase motor. The main task is to control the magnetic contactor, which starts or stops the motor. Also we need to get a feedback from it, to know the state. The feedback will be normally open contact K1.1. We need a push button to start and stop the conveyor. The push button is PV1 in our setup. Control voltage signal is a serial connection of the normally open protection circuit contact and the normally open safety switch contact. Inductive sensor LS1 monitors rotation of the conveyor. If the belt slips or breaks then conveyor must be stopped. PB2 is false reset button. As mentioned earlier, K1 is a magnetic contactor that starts or stops the motor. HL1 is an indication, that control voltage is OK. HL2 is an indication, that conveyor is running. HL3 is an indication of the control fault. HL4 is an indication of the rotation fault. Let's get to the TIA portal project. Take a closer look at the hardware configuration. I have a S7 1500 series CPU with one I.O. module. FC2 is a flip-flop function, used for start-stop button. A flip-flop function is explained in my previous video. FB1 is a control function block. Temporary variables are used for simulation purpose only. Network 1 is used to form a signals. It used to implement simulation into the project. Network 2 is a fault reset. If fault occurs then motor should be stopped and fault needs to be acknowledged to try to run the conveyor again. Network 3 is a start signal for the conveyor. Network 4 is used to reset start signal if there is no control voltage, or there is a control fault, or there is a rotation fault. Network 5 is used to monitor the control fault. Network 6 is used to set the control fault if there is a start signal for the magnetic contactor but there is no feedback from it. The fault delay is 100 milliseconds. You can adjust the delay time value to the one that suits your needs. Network 7 is used to monitor the rotation of the belt conveyor. On the regular time intervals there must be a signal from the inductive sensor. You can adjust the value of the time interval to the one that suits your needs. Network 8 is used to set the rotation fault. Network 9 is used to control the output that controls the magnetic contactor K1. As you can see the state of the output is high if there are control voltage, start signal, and there is no any faults. Network 10 is used for conveyor states indication. To simulate the process I have used a comfort panel. On the main screen there are couple of buttons and artificial lamps. Here is a start stop button.
Here is a reset button. This button is used to enable the simulation of the feedback of the magnetic contactor. This button is used to enable the simulation of the inductive sensor. This button is used to simulate control voltage. First circle is used to monitor control voltage. Second one is used to monitor the state of the conveyor. Third one is used to monitor the control fault. Fourth one is used to monitor the rotation fault. Let's simulate the process. Let's try to run the conveyor. As you can see it does not run, because control voltage is off. Turn on control voltage and try again. We've got the control fault, because there is no feedback from magnetic contactor. Reset the fault and try to enable the simulation of the feedback. Start the conveyor. As you can see conveyor did run for a period of time and then we have got rotation error. It means that there is no feedback from inductive sensor. Possible reasons, conveyor slips or the belt is broken. Reset the fault, enable inductive sensor simulation and try again. Conveyor runs. Let's try to simulate errors to monitor the behavior of the system. As you can see the system works well. We do get the feedback of the state of the conveyor, so it helps to determine the problem fast and fix it. Thank you for watching.